здесь можно покататься на горочках. Можно сюда зайти. Понимаешь, там занят, да там по, по этим, по каким-то билетам проходит, по спас. Сейчас пойдем смотреть животных. Будем надеяться, мы увидим. Сафари. Сафари. Он автобусик, наверное, мы на нем поедем. А что это тогда, Света? Паровозик, что ли, тоже не похож. Ну, короче, какая-то телега, увидим. Вот она, видите, какая. Какой-то такой, старинный какой-то, деревянный. Вот еще. Мы отправляемся в крутое путешествие по всяким там динозаврам, короче. Сафари. He gets that diker name because it's Afrikan for diver. He'll dive in bushes when he's scared to catch kaki. Oh, too much. Yeah, but he's the largest of the diker family. But I do want to show you this too. Up in the back bush. Oh, good. Let's see your face. Let me get a little closer here. Yes, that is beautiful. That is an okapi, friends. You see her? Okapi is kind of like a horse, donkey. If you see her backside, she's kind of like a zebra butt going on. But she isn't really directly related to any of those three animals. The closest relative is, do you guys know? Yeah, that is. That's right. It's a giraffe. Check out her head. Got this only one in the world that has the same skull structure as a giraffe. Pretty cool, right? There's two. Of them. My favorite thing: if you pet no copy, that brown part on her should come off on your hand. It's like an oil. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, it makes her kind of waterproof. She's like a waterproof. Hold on. This is easily one of the most special sights I can give you today. On your left, that is a black hole right there. There's only about 5,000 or even less at this point in the world. You're looking at one in about 5,000. Look at that, y'all. Think about that guy. He's poached for his... Oh, we'll get back to him in a second because it looks like someone's looking at us in the bush on your right. That's a kudu. See what there? She's standing up, and there's another antelope on your right hand side over here as well. These are bongos, this orange animal. Bongo males are going to have a Y horn. Females have an X they cross. You can see the horns there. It looks like there's a female and a male, which is what are these animals. Super shy animal. They're actually called ghosts in the forest. Yeah. Pretty cool to see. Good stuff, y'all. Black rhino right there, man. The black rhinos, like I was saying. They're poached with their horn. People cut it off and actually eat it. Because it's rumored to have a medicinal value. It's like a cure-all. But it's not. It's made of keratin. You guys know what else is made of keratin? Yeah, how gross is that? It's our hair and fingernails. So people eat as much as that corn as you probably eat from your fingernails to get that medicinal value. Super weird. But a thousand year old Look at stuff, y'all. One in five thousand. Let's keep moving on here. We got a lot of forest to cover today. It actually covers a good amount of this reserve. But it opens up a little bit here. Okay, all right, so there's a river. There's two very specific animals I want to show you, but this isn't one of them, guys. It's a very rare animal you usually don't see. If you look up ahead, see what we're looking at there. Not the animal we're looking for, oh, but I do see it in the back. But if you look on your left, only change that way, really, in the mating season. 
Keep a look, y'all, because I do see the one coming up ahead, but the animal we're looking for can actually hold their breath about eight minutes under this water here. But I see its backside coming up. So let's just remain seated, guys. Remain seated, friends. Don't want you outside with the crocodiles. Remain seated. Remain seated. Remain seated. Remain seated. Remain seated. Remain seated. It's like a... Upside at you, yeah, yeah. Sorry, but I was at you. We'll call them that because they kind of act like a root too. But they do on your left, and it looks like a male all the way out in the distance. What we're looking at is a female. Male's out there with his head up. He's a little bit taller. He's almost like a black on white color too. He's a lot darker than the female. Here, there's a baby peeking her head out of the tree here. See her? That's a little baby. It is mama's on board. Mama giraffes give birth after about four. Really good for any antelopes to eat out here, so keep a look for that. But the second thing I want you to look out for is the rocks. Any rock formation could actually lead to some animals being out here that are predators. They love to sleep in these rocks. So keep a look. We're coming up really close to these giraffes, but of any predator that lives out here, they don't sneak up on prey, they just start running. They run and run forever. Half the time they're prey. Now we got a lot of See how many bumps he has on his head? It's a good sign he's got a lot of testosterone. It's a good healthy male. The air, it's called parking. Give you some perspective, the canopy of the truck is about 12 feet tall, so just about as tall as the truck that guy can jump. But the wildebeest, if you can see it, my favorite thing about them is they jump from the SAO. If you look at their necks, very largest monkey in the world, largest way in the animal. Look at that, dude. Good eyes back there, good eyes. Think about him. We know he roams here, we've been doing a lot of research, but he eats alone every day. Three. Look at that cutie. No. They're getting a pond away from these elephants. They're literally in their pond, guys. They're all gray, no. and they would be a great bird, but cool if it wasn't for no. diet. Do you guys know what they eat? Oh, yeah. yeah, there it is, yeah. Well, that shrimp, a little bit smaller than ours, the brine shrimp, but it is high beta carotene. Oh, hold on, guys, before they leave, right hand side. Little spring bop. Very close cool, right this time. He's cute. I've got this picture, y'all. I'm going to stop right up here. He's got flamingos, water, bamboo trees, safari truck. Little glimpse of that elephant. Great little picture right there. Extremely good hearing though. You really shouldn't be too loud like the one up ahead is, because they can get actually spooked. They're a 5,000 pound animal, they can run at about 35 miles per hour. Look at this. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's What's cool about the cheetahs, too? They have that very distinct kind of black line that runs down their face. It's kind of like a football play. It's a baby white rider right ahead of the truck. You get a little closer here. Look at this. Look at this. That is something huge. It's not on the east. It's probably hiding out somewhere, so it's pretty far away from the mall, which is good. You can only find them on protective reserves. Oh, yeah, they're not bad. But it's even a bit of a bird brain, these guys. About 40 miles per hour per вот такой сафари у нас был по животным особо качественно не получилось у меня съемочку сделать потому что народа много машины постоянно едет едет начинает только приближать видео и оно это в приближенном виде начинает дергаться потому что машина постоянно в движении так что не ругайте меня за плохую съемочку. Это не я виноват, это водитель там по кочкам ехал и практически не останавливался. Потому что он остановится там на пару-тройку секунд. Но за это время не успеваешь сфокусировать, ничего сделать. Да и плюс народ еще там мешал. Не, это я не хочу. Надо у меня будет лазить там. Так, вот еще тут что-то лазить можно. Не хочешь, Светка, полазить? Кому понравился сафари в Animal Kingdom? Ставим лайк, пишем комментарии и подписываемся на мой канал, чтобы не пропустить новые интересные видео. В следующей части мы продолжим путешествовать по Animal Kingdom. Всем до завтра!